All right, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Aura. So we back with another video on the New Era channel. How we doing? So in today's video, I'm gonna be making a very simple placement ready beats. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty much a placement god at this point. I've just got placements, you know, like I said, you know, coming in left and right. I'm, I just, I make bands off of straight placements. You know what I mean? So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of that magic that I have, um, you know, in my fingertips. You know, I just want to spill a little bit of the sauce on how to get these crazy placements or how to make the beats to get these crazy placements. You know, because that's step one is having the beats so yeah i just want to you know make something kind of simple but you know placement ready meaning you know any any artist can kind of hop on it and uh you know just just work their magic so one more thing is that this video is indeed sponsored by unison i'm going to be showcasing a little bit of the unison mangler which is uh the new plugin that they had just recently dropped i think uh, literally yesterday so right now if you do end up liking the plugin that i'm going to show you guys later on in the video if you do end up uh, you know liking it and wanting to grab it for yourself it's actually literally 60 percent off right now since it just launched so um you know it's originally about 70 dollars, but now it is only about 27 dollars. so um a bit of a steal going on it's actually really cheap so i definitely recommend that you guys get it but uh you know i gotta showcase it first before i say this so yeah let's just get into the video and we're gonna find a little uh pluck or kind of key Yeah, so we're just gonna start at the uh, F sharp key and we're gonna try to play something out and, uh, you know, find a nice little melody to go with. Not too shabby so we're gonna copy that over we're gonna try to find a little bit more of a, a like, kind of like a dark a dark bell um so yeah we'll just search around this could work i'm gonna touch up the melody a little bit i kind of want to make it a little bit darker you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna do like a low and high cut kind of play around with it All right, cool. So I'm gonna look for a pad now and we're gonna try to do some, uh, some kind of like reverse pad kind of future type shit.
You know, I kind of feel like some of these top notes that I added make it a little bit too happy. I think I do that too often. Alright, so <laughs> my apologies for not talking, but I feel like now is a great time to kind of showcase the uh, Unison Mangler. So pretty much, if you guys don't already get the gist by the uh, demonic figure standing uh, in front of us, um, the Unison Mangler is pretty much, as Unison describes it, uh, a plugin that takes any sound and turns it into an absolute monster in less than three seconds. That's That's a pretty... It's a pretty nice uh, little summary right there. So the plugin has five knobs, uh, gain, expand, bite, destroy, and mangle. Expand being a stereo widener, uh, bite being kind of like a bit crusher, you know what I mean? Just adds a little bit of that crush to it. Um, destroy, I assume, is just kind of like a distortion, compression kind of thing, and then mangle. I actually don't know what mangle does. Um, I think mangle is kind of just like a different version of destroy. They, you know, they both like sound the same, but they do different things. So we'll, we'll obviously experiment with it, but it's best used for, you know, things like bass and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of more of like a, you know, kind of destruction, you know, dangerous sound kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play around with the destroy and mangle knob um, until we find, uh, you know, the values we like for this bass. Cause I kind of want to, I really kind of want to, you know, just make this bass sound a little bit more gross. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Now, if that doesn't strike fear in your hearts, then <laughs> I don't know what will. But as you can see, it just took our bass, just took the bass to a new level, you know?
wonderful. So now we're gonna add a bit of a, you know, just like a top, top melody. I've been in the hills, fucking dude. I'm going to use the Unison Mangler to uh, widen it, expand, and add a little bit of destroy. Yeah. So I took a little break, as you noticed by the time difference, but it's about an hour later. I took a break, you know what I'm saying? I needed, I needed some fresh inspiration. I need a little bit of time to kind of think, you know what I'm saying? Break down my little, you know, my mind a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just, just take a step back. So I came back and I was like, okay, there's a few things wrong with this loop. So first of all, the first sound, I just didn't like it, right? This, I don't even think I ended up using it in the final. Um, so I just decided, fuck it, we don't need it. Okay, let's just go on without it. So then what I ended up doing is I went into Analog Lab and I got this, uh, I was looking for a different piano because I thought the piano I had was just too basic. But I ended up finding this random melodies preset, which is, it's like an ARP, but it's uh, it's like, you know, kind of like an ATL Jacob kind of future ARP. So uh, I just played it out, just same melody. And then I half-timed it, you know, easy, right? Then I went in to Omnisphere and I uh, picked out a different sound than the uh, original one that I had because I, I just didn't like that one. I kept the same little boring pad, but this is what I got for Omnis for the Omnisphere sound. It's more of like a hard hitting kind of pipish pluck, and uh, I thought that it fit uh, a lot better, right? So uh, then um, I took out like the other arcade, and then I just left this, you know, just the basic uh, preset that I had. This is what it sounds like. Play it out. Sounds pretty, uh, pretty cool. You know what I mean? But I just left it as that. You know, uh, I actually ended up turning up the highs a little bit. Uh, oh shit! No, I didn't. Yeah, I did this. Turn up the highs and something. Alright. So, yeah, so I added that, and then I just added another Omnisphere sound, but I used this as like a little lead or uh, just like a counter melody just to add something onto it. So, this is what it sounds like. And that's it, man. Thank God. So I ended up exporting the whole thing, and then I just pitched it down one uh, semitone, and uh, yeah, this is it. So thank you guys for watching, man. Make sure you go, you know, download the uh, Unison Mangler, man. It means a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, man. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the New Era channel. The New Era site is back up. Um, go to the top of the description, the Unison Mangler, man. It is like literally like 60% off right now just launched go get that shit man you're gonna be the coolest kid on the block saying yo like do you guys have the unison mangler i don't think so you know what i mean like it's just gonna be tough you know what i mean like i already have like 
you know all the shorties right now just because they like know i have the unison mangler and shit but like honestly it's just a really solid plugin really good distortion plugin you know for drums and whatnot and today i kind of wanted to spice it up and, and you know kind of shift it towards the melody side of things you know what i mean sometimes people you know they use distortion on their melodies and i kind of wanted to try that today you know what i mean so thank you guys so much for watching top of the description man go get the unison mangler thank you so much to unison for sponsoring this video man thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next one peace out